Hi everybody, Claire here from Rainbow Acrylics. Um, I did a painting which was using lots and lots of leftover paints um, and I did a ribbon pour and I completely forgot to do an introduction before I painted it. So here's the introduction. Um, I leftover paints scraped from my worktop um, after previous paintings. I collected them all up um, and I had loads of lovely colours, loads of, sort of pinks and purples and blues. Um, I added some gold. Um, to it to, for, for um, extra contrast and I added a bit more white um, and then um, did a ribbon pour so I'll, I'll show you show you in a second what happened um, the paints because they're all leftovers they were just a real mixture of consistencies um, and pouring mediums so some have my PVA and glue pouring medium in some have um, fluorochol pouring medium and there's also some silicon in some of the paints as well being being leftovers so I thickened up the thin paints, I watered down the thick paints to get them all to a really similar consistency for a ribbon pour. Um, so, let me show you what happened.
Considering this was just paint leftovers, I cannot believe how well this has turned out. I really, really like it. The colours are gorgeous together. Um, and I'm I'm not haven't done that many uh, ribbon pours before, so sort of just working it out as I go along, but I think this works brilliantly. Um, you've got the gold to give lines of shimmer that are just so many lines. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, there's quite a lot of cells in this. Um, as I said at, um, at the beginning, I think there's, there is um, some silicon in some of these paints, um, but I haven't torched. So I'm not going to torch because I think if I do torch, I will just be inundated with cells. Um, and I don't think I want that because if there's too many cells, I think it will spoil the lines. I don't think your the lines will be the, the feature of the painting. So I'm going to leave it exactly like it is and I'm really happy. Having said that, more cells are appearing all the time. So it will be really interesting to see um, when it's dry, how, how, it, um, how it looks. Um, but I'll be back when it's dry. Right, it's dry now. It's taken about a week. I think there was so much paint on the canvas. It's taken forever. Um, but it's dry. Um, I love it. I'm, I just love the colours. Because they were all leftover paints, um, I just used what I had. So it's a sort of unusual combination, but there are so many different shades of blue, purple, pink, and obviously I added the gold in. And green, yep, I put the green in. Um, really happy with it that we've just got the odd cells. Um, I would have got more cells if I torched, but I deliberately didn't torch um, because I've torched a similar painting like this before and the cells just totally took over um, and meant that you couldn't see the lovely lines um, quite as much. Um, so really interesting. What a really, really good way of using up paint. I enjoyed doing it um, and I'm really happy with the result. That's a really interesting line there, isn't it? That gold. <laughs> Uh, yeah, looks really interesting. Um, yeah, so really happy that it's dry now. Um, great. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Please um, hit the notification bell um, to get the notifications of my new videos. Um, please leave any comments or questions um, and I will get back to you as soon as possible.